Sunday, May 25, 1884 Sri Ramakrishna was sitting on the cement platform that encircled the trunk of the old banyan tree in the Panchavati. Vijay, Surendra, Bhavanath, Rakhal and other devotees were present. A few of them sitting with the master on the platform, the rest on the ground below. The devotees had thought of celebrating the master's birthday which had had to be put off because of his illness. Since Sri Ramakrishna now felt much better, the devotees wanted to have the celebration that day. A woman musician, a famous singer of Kirtan, was going to entertain them with devotional songs. It was one o'clock in the afternoon. M had been looking for Sri Ramakrishna in the master's room. When he did not find him there, he went to the Panchavati and eagerly asked the devotees, Where is he? He was standing right in front of the master, but in his excitement did not notice him. The devotees laughed loudly. A moment later, M saw Sri Ramakrishna and felt very much embarrassed. He prostrated himself before the master, who sat there facing the south and smiling happily. Kedar and Vijay were sitting at his left. The two devotees had had a misunderstanding recently when Kedar had cut off his connection with the Brahmo Samaj. Master to M with a smile You see how I have united them? The master had brought a Madhavi creeper from Brindavan in the year 1868 and had planted it in the Panchavati. The creeper had grown big and strong. Some children were jumping and swinging from it. The master observed them and laughed. He said, They are like young monkeys. They will not give up swinging, even though they sometimes fall to the ground. Noticing that Surendra was standing before him, the master said to him affectionately, Come up and sit with us on the platform. Then you can dangle your feet comfortably. Surendra went up and took his seat. Bhavanath had his coat on. Surendra said to him, Are you going to England? Master, smiling. God is our England. Now and then, I used to leave off my clothes and joyfully roam about naked. Once Shambhu said to me, It is very comfortable to walk about naked. That is why you do it. Once I did it myself. Surendra On returning from the office, as I put away my coat and trousers, I say to the Divine Mother, O oh Mother, how tightly you have bound me to the world. Master, there are eight fetters with which man is bound. Shame, hatred, fear, 
pride of caste hesitation the desire to conceal and so forth Sri Ramakrishna sang Mother this is the grief that sorely grieves my heart that even with thee for mother and though i am wide awake there should be robbery in my house he continued in the world's busy market place o shama thou art flying kites high up they soar on the wind of hope held fast by maya's string their frames are human skeletons their sails of the three gunas made but all their curious workmanship is merely for ornament upon the kite strings thou hast rubbed the manja paste of worldliness so as to make each straining strand all the more sharp and strong out of a hundred thousand kites at best but one or two break free and thou dost laugh and clap thy hands o mother watching them on favoring winds says ram prashad the kite set loose will speedily be borne away to the infinite across the sea of the world master maya string means wife and children upon the kite strings thou hast rubbed the manja paste of worldliness worldliness means woman and gold the three gunas sattva rajas and tamas have men under their control they are like three brothers as long as sattva exists it calls on rajas for help and rajas can get help from tamas the three gunas are so many robbers tamas kills and rajas binds sattva no doubt releases man from his bondage but it cannot take him to god vijay smiling it is because sattva too is a robber master smiling true sattva cannot take man to god but it shows him the way bhavanath these are wonderful words indeed master yes this is a lofty thought listening to these words of the master the devotees felt very happy